Welcome to the Pine Restaurant here at the Hanover Inn. I'm with Alex Kirk this week, the Carolyn A. Pelzel 54A, head coach of women's golf at Dartmouth. And coach, you've got a young team this year, but you've got a lot of talent. And it's kind of shown in, in a lot of the tournaments that you've been at, played up to this point. Uh, you, this, the first tournament you played this spring, four freshmen and sophomore out there, and you had some good showings. Yeah, it's a little different. The team's young, but uh, I think the future looks good. And it's nice to have some depth on the program. We actually have some options to uh, work on the lineup. Let's take a look at the veterans first, Coach. you got the two captains, Samantha Yao is a senior, Catherine Sung is a junior. Catherine's off in the winter, so she hasn't been able to play in the first couple tournaments. But they bring that veteran leadership that you're looking for to help mentor these young golfers, too. Yeah, I mean, I think Catherine and Sammy are probably two of the best golfers that have played in the program to this point. I mean, good news, Catherine's actually doing an internship at Bank of America in Palo Alto, California, so she's getting to play. Uh, Sammy... I call her a gamer. I mean, she just, uh, when the tee shot goes off, she she does her best. This last week we were down in Georgia. Uh, she played well the first round, kind of struggled the second round a little bit. But, you know, I think uh, they're good leaders and they're, they're setting the tone for our program. Now, your freshman class coming in, you have a number of folks. you got Hope Hall, you've got Irish Cow, you've got uh, a couple others as well, uh, Kim Shen and Sophie Tai. And they all had the capability of scoring for you on weekend in the tournaments. Yeah, I mean, I think their pedigree and experience is strong. I mean, Sophie Tai was medalist at the uh, Delaware Invitational. I mean, two rounds of 69 sandwich with a 71. You know, Kimberly Shen's been pretty solid. I mean, Hope Hall's actually long hitter, makes a lot of birdies, very feisty. And Iris Cow got off to a slow start, but, you know, she's kind of come around this this season and uh, you know I think uh, it's a good thing we got a lot of skill and we just have to execute really or get the make a few more birdies and a lot less uh, bogeys and doubles and I think we'll do even better. You've got those freshmen challenging for the time you've also got a couple of other people back from last year Penelope Tier and Claire Zhu who both you know scored for you last year very well I think Claire had scored 20 to 22 rounds she played last year so Good problems to have. Coach. Yeah, yeah. No, that's like I said, we had options. I mean, Claire's a pretty steady player. Um, you know, she made a funny comment. She's the probably shortest hitter on the team, but then when she gets out in the tournament, she keeps right out there with the other competitors. I think that's one of the keys to our team is that we have some long ball hitters. For the, We're probably maybe one of the longest teams in the Ivy League, which I think helps us with scoring to get closer. Uh, and Penelope, I mean, I think she's uh, got the ability, a long hitter, good putter you know maybe have to improve on her wedges a little bit to get a little closer but I mean the good problem is we have to have qualifying this year because anyone could contribute I mean I would take any any five of them to a tournament I'd be happy with what we have so this spring like I said you've had a lot of you know you've had a couple tournaments so far you had the freshman playing Catherine Sun will be rejoining the team here after her internship you know what do you expect to see come down the stretch and then for the Ivy Championships uh, well, we just had a great trip to California for spring trip. Uh, got to go to San Francisco and compete in Monterey at Poppy Hills at the U Dallas Baptist event. You know, got some good training in. And then moving forward, I mean, we have three weeks in a row. and We're going to go to Sarasota for Harvard. Uh, we're going to go to the Naval Academy. And then the following weekend, we go right to the Ivy League Championship. So I, I hope that we're on a good run and everyone's dialed in and we'll get to play our best golf. Um, you know, we'll use that time to figure out what's the strongest lineup for us to put out there for the Ivy League Championship. I think last year, I mean, five teams were within 10 shots of the lead. I mean, I think Princeton, to give them credit, is probably a front runner. But, you know, with five teams within 10 shots last year, I think anybody can beat anybody on any given day. And, you know, I like my chances this year better than any year I've ever been here at Dartmouth. You know, I think the program's in a good position on and off the golf course. This is you know, one of the best teams I've had. I love coaching them, and uh, they're fun to be around. So we're hoping for a good outcome. Well, we're looking forward to seeing the results here at the Ivy Championship and, you know, looking for that first Ivy League championship for the team, you know, throughout the program's history. And you've, you've come close the last couple of times you've played there. And so, you know, maybe this is year you get over the hump. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Got to make some more putts, and uh, I like our chances, though. All right, Coach. Thanks for joining me here, and we'll be back with another Coach's Conversation next week. Go Big Green.